my name is João Niza. I'm from Portugal and I have 21 years old. I was seven when I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. In Portugal, we have uh, a pretty easy like to get treatment. Like in Armenia, in Armenia, you have to uh, yourself have to uh, do some fundraising to get treatment and uh, be able to pay the treatment. In Portugal, it's not like that. If you pay your taxes, you can receive treatment for cancer with no additional uh, costs. So yeah, my experience was. You know, it's tough, the, the chemo, and, but in terms of receive the treatment, the, the accessibility, we don't have any kind of issue to, to receive treatment. Um, the doctors should be more able to explain what we're going to suffer during treatment. I think that's a, a, big, a big issue. Like, you're just receiving treatment and that's all. They don't, they don't question if it's hurting too much, what, what you're being through at the moment. So I think that should change. So I do volunteer at the hospital with small kids. I tell my story and they make some questions about it. And I, you know, they have some um, some topics that they they want to discuss with me. Like, uh, is the air going to fall and is he coming back after the treatment? There's small issues that for me are small issues now because I, I passed through treatment. But for them are like the big issues at the moment. I'm also developing a project with cancer, childhood cancer survivors, the Dreaming with Survivors project. We collect 40 childhood cancer survivors and they have uh, decided to um, pick four main topics that have to change something in Portugal. I'm also a board member of my organization, so uh, we have to be able to discuss the management issues about my organization. So yeah, that's my kind of charity job.